Hello and welcome to another video on Pydini doing stuff and filming it. We are doing TV licensing videos again from their uh, YouTube channel. Uh, now this is the last one, number seven, which is talking about TV licensing for your second home. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just get on with it then. Right, here we go. This is the last one as well. Number seven, TV license for second homes. Now, I don't actually know what the rules are for TV licenses for second homes. I suspect you need one. And that's, I'd say 90% of what this is going to be saying. I'm going to be quite surprised if that isn't what it says. Now, before we get into it, I think if you can afford to have a second home, especially in this financial climate, the cost of living crisis, and you need a TV license, if you watch TV, just fucking buy one. Stop being so cheap. I hate that. When people who have fucking money to burn, you know, more than some of us will have in our lives, and yet they bitch and whine, and they're so sly and slimy. When it comes to spending, you know, for for, th for what is to them a small amount of money, just fucking buy one. I mean, I remember once uh, when I was working for um, Volkswagen, when a lady bring her Polo in, and we said it, it, you know, it, it needs new needs new brakes on it. So it, it failed its MOT. These brakes were were shagged. They were one way to nothing. Car was a bit of a death trap, really. My fucking god, she, did she bitch and whinge and she tried making it out like it was our fault that the brakes were worn out. It's like, no brakes wear out on cars, it just happens. And then, you know, we had the, you know, accusing us of lying. And yeah, she was really slimy. She tried every trick in the book. And I just wanted to punch her right in the fucking face because, yeah, it was just, especially when she was trying to say that I was a liar for telling her this. It's like, look we've done the MOT it's failed on the brakes do you want us to change them yes or no you know you're under no obligation if you want to take it somewhere else for a second opinion fuck off and do it but stop sitting at my desk and trying all these sly tactics to get out of pain you know that that's all it was she didn't want to pay for it um, and then literally the next day I'm in Cambridge and I see her buying a brand new laptop from the Apple store she bitched and whinged about paying for her brakes which at the time this was like a base model polo that she had as well they were like 150 quid for discs and pads which is actually pretty cheap um, if you need the, the brake discs or rotors and the pads you know with labor and fitting at a main dealership as well this was not a backstreet garage i was working at the volkswagen dealership which is quite an expensive place yeah you know, we were doing them for fucking cheap and she still wanted to whinge and complain um, we offered her um, to do like non-genuine parts, pattern parts as well, um, which we weren't supposed to do as a dealership. And but she wanted no, no, she wanted the the good stuff, but she didn't want to fucking pay for it. And there she is, just you know, laughing and joking with the salesman, buying herself a fucking two grand laptop. It's, uh, it's like, <laughs> the the best bit was um, yeah, I, I went in and started browsing round, um, and yeah, and she saw me. She was like, oh hello, I'm like. Oh right, yeah, you're all right. I, I'd moved up to you know, I wanted to make sure she saw me. And she goes, oh, what, what are you doing here? And she goes, Oh, I'm just getting a new laptop. My other one was getting a bit old. Oh, okay. Right. Did you ever get those brakes fixed on your car? And she didn't answer me. She just walked off because <laughs> she hadn't let us do it in the end. She'd refused and taken the car away in a dangerous state. So yeah, that's my story of people that bitch and whine. And so yeah, if you have a second home, buy a fucking TV license if you need one. Stop whinging, you fucking tight bastard. Anywho, once again, I'm way off topic. We haven't even started. Right, okay, this is the last one, I promise. Most people need a TV license for their main home. If you have a second home in the UK, Channel Islands or Isle of Man, you may need a separate TV license depending on the type of property and really? how you use it. Okay. I'm going to walk you through it all. First of all, let's look at how the law applies to second homes when they're houses, flats, bungalows, cottages and other permanent properties. Okay. Just like in your main home, you need a TV license in your second home to watch or record programs on any channel as they're being shown on TV or streamed live on an online TV service like YouTube, Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV, 
Now TV, Sky Go, ITV Hub, and all four. There they are with fucking YouTube again. All the others are generally used with your TV. I mean, one of them. Let me see, yeah. Some of those even have, two of them even have the word TV in them. Um, but yeah, YouTube, again, I think it's, it just feels sly to me. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. Right, I've already ranted about this. And again, like your main home, you need to be covered by a TV licence to download or watch BBC programmes on BBC iPlayer, live or on demand. And that's true whether you're watching on a TV, a desktop PC, a games console, a digibox, PVR, DVD player, Blu-ray, VHS recorder... Well, there it is! There it is! I was waiting for it! VHS recorder! <laughs> they fucking love it! <laughs> or laptop. In fact, the only time your TV licence from your main home covers you in this type of second home is if you're watching it on a device being powered by its own internal battery. Like this. See, we had this in the student one as well. How the fuck are they going to enforce that? How are they going to know? And, you know, oh, I, I watch TV on my on my tablet. I watch it on my iPad or whatever. Oh, the battery's running low. Oh, well, I'll just plug it in. Yeah, how are you going to fucking know? You're not, are you? It's just, you know, it's just fucking daft and outdated. Right. Oh, look, we made it nearly a minute and a half in. Hmm. Now, let's take a look at some other types of second home. If you live full-time on a houseboat, you need a TV licence, as you would with any other primary residence. Yeah, that's not a second home, though, is it? If you live full-time on a houseboat, it's your prime. That's not a second home. But, yeah, okay. But if your second home is a boat, you don't need another TV licence. You don't Sweet. need one if it's a touring caravan or vehicle either. <laughs> However, you might need a separate TV license if, like Wendy here, your second home is a static caravan, mobile home or movable chalet, because there are occasions when your TV license from your first home won't cover you. So it seems to be if your second home has an address because these um the park homes or you know static caravans or whatever you want to call them they often have their own address and postcode um sometimes you even have to pay council tax on them as well um especially if you do then decide to live in them year round which you're generally not allowed to do but anyway um so yeah but of course a caravan or a boat doesn't have an address i mean a boat can do um, if it's permanently moored somewhere, but you normally have to give the marina address and you have like a PO box number there or something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I suppose they probably realised even years and years ago when they were writing these laws, that how on earth are we going to enforce a TV licence when someone doesn't have an address? Oh, fuck it, let them off. Yeah, anyway. If you're watching or recording programmes as they're being shown on TV, or you're watching BBC programmes on BBC iPlayer, at the same time as someone back in your first home that's my house then you do need a separate TV license that's my Frank 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 no oh, he can't hear me except if the device you're watching on is being powered only by its own internal battery if there will never be an occasion when someone will be watching TV programs in both locations at the same time then you don't need a separate TV license but we would like you to fill out and return our non-simultaneous use declaration form. It's on our website. Fill out your home address and the address of your static caravan, mobile home or movable chalet plus your TV license number and its date of expiry. Then email it back to us at inquiries at tvlicensing.co.uk. If you prefer, you can print the form out and post it back to us at TV Licensing Darlington DL981 TL. The famous Darlington address. <laughs> it's the return address and all their little threatening letters that they send out. So, yeah, that's how most people know they've got another TV license. How I know. Go, oh, return address, Darlington. All right, let's, uh, let's have a go. Let's make another YouTube video. <laughs> 
Of course, you will need a TV license if you live in a static caravan, mobile home, or movable chalet full time. Finally, if you rent out your second home and it's a house, flat, bungalow, or cottage, and you've provided your tenants with a TV, then it is also your responsibility to ensure that the property has a TV license. That's interesting. Because if you just rent a house, it's the tenant's responsibility. But if you're renting out your second home, I suppose that's if it's a holiday home, you're going to be doing multiple rentals a year. They've probably decided it's the, uh, the owner. So I suppose at that point you're not landlord and tenant, are you? You're like property owner and customer. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, because according to the rules, they are not going to be covered to take your, your TV license isn't generally portable. So, yeah. Interesting. The only exception is if the tenancy agreement clearly states the tenant is responsible for buying one. If you need any more information about TV licenses and second homes, you can find it by visiting our website at tvl.co.uk forward slash second home. Right, so, so unless the tenancy agreement says that the tenant is responsible for buying the TV license. So if you're renting, Check your tenancy agreement, I suppose, <laughs> and you know, and if it doesn't say explicitly say you are responsible for buying the TV license, I suppose don't fucking have one. <laughs> Let your landlord take the flak, fuck him. <laughs> oh dear, landlords are one of my pet hates as well in this country. Um, I'm sure there are good ones out there, but in general, my experience of private renting has just been universally terrible you're treated just as like second class citizens and you're basically just treated as a cash cow by everyone else involved in the whole situation so yeah <laughs> that could be an idea <laughs> to see if you can get your landlord to be forced to pay for a fucking TV license for you <laughs> oh dear evil thoughts right the TV license does more oh, than you might think Right, so that concludes this little uh, mini-series that we've made or covering the videos I found on the uh, TV licensing YouTube channel. There are, of course, others. I may or may not have a look at those in the future. Most of them are just the same videos again and again in different languages, so we don't need to look at those. I mean, what with the point? I, I don't speak any of the languages that they're in. Um, and I, I congratulate TV licensing for, for having them in those languages like I've said a few times before now in my TV licensing videos they do seem to take accessibility quite seriously so we can't fault them for that uh, but there are a few others there's some old adverts and such like on there that maybe we'll have a look at in the future but that concludes this series of, of the seven videos that I found um, yeah yeah I mean there were some bits that annoyed me like they kept mentioning YouTube um, that you need for you need a TV license for YouTube generally speaking you don't you just don't really there are tv channels out there that do live stream to youtube but they don't do it full time so 99.99% .99 of users watching 99.99% .99 of their content that they normally watch will not need a tv license for youtube you just won't um, the, the yeah, it only seems to be for special occasions um, that you will see them broadcasting live. The the only time I think I've ever seen um, TV channels was um, recently we had Queen Elizabeth II's funeral here in the UK, and I think all the TV channels were live streaming it. So, um, but yeah, they were live streaming just about everything. It was everywhere. Which, to be fair, it's that was a big moment in history was that so yeah um, but yeah generally speaking TV channels don't don't broadcast to YouTube on a regular basis so you don't need a TV license for YouTube you just don't I wish they wouldn't include that but other than that these videos haven't been so bad there's a few points where I've got a bit annoyed with them but they've generally been okay the one th point I would like to to leave this series with is 
I really wish that the ethos that they put into these videos and to the um, easy read leaflet that I had a look at in my previous uh, video as well I wish that attitude to the customers would come across in the letters that they send out to people because a lot of their stuff is is perfectly acceptable these videos with a few little niggles here and there have been perfectly acceptable really and that easy read booklet again a few bits here and there that i didn't like but it was generally okay they need to bring that across into their letters and stop being so threatening you know they're just they are way out of order with these letters um, as many people have pointed out they are probably criminal but they get away with it because well they're part of the system really aren't they you know i mean if you made a complaint against them who's going to give a fuck you know they're part of the establishment which is just wrong really but yeah so but yeah i really wish they would bring that across into their into their letters but then again if i think about it if they didn't send such threatening letters i wouldn't be able to make any decent content about it so there we go i suppose i should be thankful for the letters send more letters tv line i'll have one a day send just make them all a little different from each other send me one a day send you send me all your letters it's great i'll make i'll keep making i I enjoy making videos about it so yeah fucking go for it i should know stop it stop it you bunch of fucking crooks wankers Thank you for watching this video on Pydini doing stuff and filming it. Please don't forget to press the big button here in the middle to subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you liked what you just saw, please click the like button below and leave a comment letting me know what you liked about it. And as always, thank you for watching.